Guys, I have a new piece of technology, which actually isn't new, but it is new and it isn't new. Look, I'll explain in just a minute. But what Nick told me before we press record, and I just like, Nick, 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 I gotta get you on camera to talk more about this because this might be the biggest machine in all of Taiwan that nobody's heard of. And if you've heard of it, kudos to you. But Nick and I are here today to make sure that people are hearing about it, to make sure that it's on your radar because in this case, size matters. And the capability of what Goodway is able to do is really exponential in its flexibility and, and price point. And I want yeah. to talk about some of this today with you, Nick, because the reason we're doing this is you and I off camera before hitting record go, dude, dude, we got it. We just, we got to create awareness for this, yeah. this conversation, this machine. So let's get into that before I get too long winded, before everyone turns their TV off right now, before they get to hear from you, Goodway, what is Goodway? How big is Goodway? What do they do? Let's just learn. Let's learn together. Yeah, so Goodway is a um, roughly 50, 55 year old company. Uh, the original founder actually still is active in the business. He just, I think he's turning 80 right about now. I was just wow. visiting him last week over at the factory in Taiwan. Um, so these guys are a uh, very, very well established, the largest as far as the Goodway group, which includes these Goodway turning centers and also OEA milling machines. Um, OEA, at least in our territory, has more awareness than Goodway. Um, Goodway's kind of the biggest machine tool manufacturer that hardly anybody knows about. So, um, and, and these guys, I mean, this, what we have here is a, it's a, it's a GLS 2000 LYS. So it's a main and sub spindle machine, live dueling Y axis, pretty dang capable lathe. Um, but these guys will do standard two axis lathes. They'll do full B axis mill turns. They'll do multi-meter lathes. Um, we can, we even have some forward, uh, you know, facing twin spindle machines, gantry loading systems, bar fed systems, anything and everything, you, you know, that involves Spinning the part VTLs, we've, we've, we can do some monster VTLs, like five, six meter VTLs. Anything that involves spinning the part, these guys can do. Nick, I like to be very clear when we're talking with the audience, you and I, and if I'm just learning about something, obviously there's gonna be skepticism that comes with it. You know, branding is almost everything in this industry. Relationships first, which you guys have nailed, branding comes second, which is what we're doing right now. Yep. So to connect with the people watching when they go, look, I trust Nick, I trust Merrifield, I trust the Merrifield team, but I am just learning about this. Although they might be the most famous machine maker and the largest in all of Taiwan, yeah. we're now talking about it here. How can we connect with an audience? Is it about price point? Is it about relationship? Is it about the, the ability to do so many different things because they have the options? Where do we focus that conversation for someone who's going, I need to learn more, yeah. but I'm only hearing about it now? Yep, yep. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, basically for us, uh, support. You know, the support behind it is fantastic. And we have personal relationships, again, even with the owner, Edward Yang. Um, there's also a gentleman in uh, in California. Um, a lot of these, some people have heard of Yamasiki. I've um, heard of Yamasiki, absolutely. Yamasiki is the importer for Goodway and OEA. Okay. Yamasiki is actually owned by OEA. So some people don't know that either. So, um, you know, which is a little bit confusing. So shout out to you guys, it's a little bit confusing. So, but. Um, but you know, I mean, the biggest thing is with these guys is the support behind them. Um, we can do Fana controls, we can do Siemens controls, we can do Mitsubishi controls. Um, on a turning center, you wouldn't want to do a hide nine, but we can do hide nine controls on their milling machines. Um, you know, they're just a very, very well-rounded, fully capable company. Um, and they're, I, I believe they're around four and a half million square feet of manufacturing, um, with another million and a half being added on, literally right now. It's, it's insane. I mean, I was just there. I told our people, you know, we, we just brought the whole entire sales crew there last week. I told our, you know, all of our people, I said, hey, you know, be prepared. This is a really, really big company. I can tell you, everybody was totally blown away because even for my sales team, relatively unknown product, you know? So uh, so it was really good for every, to, to build conviction. And here's another thing is too, just to give you the power of this company, they brought the entire North American sales network, everybody, flew them all to Taiwan, all expenses paid, put them in hotels, covered flights, and said, open invite, bring as many people as you want. As many. They had to have spent millions on this trip. Pretty so, powerful company. when are we going to Taiwan? Yeah, I want to go back, actually. So, <laughs> Excellent, um, we'll plan that for another day, another time. Yeah. So now that we've connected with an audience, and we're understanding the size, the capacity, the capability, 
Uh, what are we actually working on today? It looks like you have some chess pieces. Yep. Automation again, because this event is a lot about automation, which we're all trying to move into. Yep. The reshoring is powerful. You're in Michigan, a lot of mold and dye here, but it's growing into other aspects of aerospace and yeah. medical and so on and so forth. What are we working on now in this automation cell that's feeding this beautiful machine? Yeah, so, so basically all we did is we just did something simple. It's, it's basically a rook chess piece. Um, and what we're doing is we're loading a blank into the sub spindle, uh, doing some work on the back end, transferring it over to the main spindle, and then bringing the finished piece out there. Yeah, there, there it is right there. So actually, I didn't even notice this. We got some engraving on the outside also. Yeah, you do. So, so we just wanted to kind of show off. Um, obviously, you need live tooling in order to be able to do this. Uh, so we've got the live tooling on there. But um, we also have a collaborative robot here, too, as you notice, there's no guarding here. Right. So anytime you ever see a FANUC robot that is has like a green stripe on it, and, um, and it's not yellow. So the yellows are basically an industrial robot. The greens are a collaborative robot. So this is basically uh, designed to be like kind of a high mix, low volume uh, cell that doesn't take up a ton of space because you don't have a ton of guarding around it. So, uh, you know, we're standing here, we're perfectly safe. If we get too close to this thing, it's gonna stop. And also too, if you touch it, and it's it's got a torque sensing setup on it. So if it, if it sees an obstruction, it's gonna stop right then and there and not do any damage to you or the parts. And basically what we're doing here too is, is we've got a uh, system here from Oasis. And what we're doing is we're simulating a go, no go. So we're taking it right out of the machine, setting it on the Oasis. Uh, it's doing some quick visual checks. And if it passes, great, it puts it back in the rack. If it doesn't pass, we can even feed back to the machine and say, hey, we're too thou too heavy. Put it back in there, um, you know, adjust cutter comps or whatever magic that our applications team does. Uh, make a skim pass, bring it back. Yep, it's good, ready to ship. So it's pretty sweet stuff. Nick, I have to ask, I think I know this answer, but I have to ask, when we're correcting something that might be a couple of thou off and it goes back into the machine and then it puts it back and tests it to make sure that it's good on the second, maybe third, let's hope it's not third or fourth, yeah, the yeah. second time, let's say, does anyone need to be around for that? Totally unmanned. Totally, totally un all unmanned. of it unmanned. And yes. then it's gonna have a good part Exactly. Theoretically, every that, time. That's the whole purpose of the whole entire cell. You know, is sometimes, you know, it's it's kind of redundant work. You're going to have to pay somebody who knows how to run the machine. They're probably not going to want to tie up the guy who knows how to run it on checking parts. So it's it's just eliminates a lot of manpower on stuff that a lot of people don't really want to be doing anyways. Let the let the robot do the, the goofy little stuff like that. So actually here, we're going to do it. dirty dangerous. Now. The 3Ds, so. the monotony. We're taking that away. Exactly. It's not taking jobs. Exactly. All conversation. Nick, are we calling this done and one or one and done these days? One Everyone and done, whatever, whatever you want to call it, as long as it works. Well, oh. for the audience watching right now, I'll hold this up to the camera. Uh, it does it has engraving, so we are talking live tooling. It is, does look like it's capable of threading as well. Obviously, we're machining on two sides. So it really is that, that ability to put a raw blank in, put it into the machine, get it done in one go, pop it into the system to measure to make sure the tolerances are good, yeah. walk away and do something else, get yep. creative, call the wife at home, whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, whatever you gotta do. And go and go about your day. Uh, is there anything that we've left out? Because I know this machine and this conversation is important to you. Obviously the technology is important, but bringing awareness to the company, I know is something really significant yeah. that you wanted to connect with the audience today. So is there anything I didn't ask you that you'd like to bring up, Nick? Not really, I mean, basically, um, you know, Everybody that's in this building is here for a reason. Um, you know, a lot of them are coming here for the first time. A lot of them are repeat customers. I've got some people here that I've known for 30 years. Some people that you've had on camera, you know, even like guys like Corey Greenwald at Hard Milling. Um, Great you know, guy, but, by the uh, way. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, the biggest thing is, is don't let the brand awareness scare you. You know, I mean, the, the, the motto that we have, we will not partner with somebody that we can't put our name on. I mean, I've got my name on, on the, uh, you know, on the business, which, some days I'm, I'm really happy about that. And other days, you know, when things don't go, I'm like, eh, man, you know, I wish I could have separated myself from that. But that's really not me though, is, you know, I stand behind everything. So anything that's in this building, we know we can support 100% no questions asked. And that's really the most important thing at the end of the day, so. Nick, you are on the top of the list for the most authentic people I know. Truly appreciate all oh, your genuine you. conversations. And that's why all these people come to Maryfield. It's not for the beer. It's not for the food. That's a bonus. There are it's to bonuses. see you. <laughs> it's to see the machining and because you do back your stuff. So even on those hard days, let me just say, keep your head up. Keep your yeah. name on that logo because Thanks, my friend, man. you are incredible. Yeah. Thank you.